Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Continuing on with Factorio here. And I just noticed that there's a big attack that could be coming in soon. Up in our kind of northeast corner here. If you can see on the map, there's this giant uh, group of nasty critters just waiting for us. And they've been tending to hit this corner or this corner. And this corner, so kind of want to beef up our security here. We do have some more lasers we can use. <laughs> that might be overkill. There we go. Can we see them on the map? Not quite, but they're there. They're under there. I think that's the biggest swarm I've seen so far. And while we're waiting for that, I installed a new module, this uh, exoskeleton, which lets us run faster. But I think we're using up our power really quickly. So we're going to build another one of these MK2 batteries. But those require... Uh, I need some more blue processing units. Okay, here comes the swarm. Oh, oh, here they come. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, here comes the big swarm. Oh, it kind of branched off. I don't think they're all coming at once, but look how many there are. Holy moly. Okay, let's get some more lasers down quickly. Oh, it needs power. We don't have any power. <laughs> oh, here they go. Whoa! It's a huge swarm, and they could have sent twice as many because there's all these ones over here. Wow, it's getting it's getting intense. We're gonna have to go do some critter cleaning soon. Oh, we're getting attacked down here too, which I can't really see. Oh, I think it was a minor, minor attack. So I kind of wanted to fix our red circuits to get more output. It's down here. Through our maze of pipes. Because we only have two red circuit machines where we could have more, I think. Because we have enough copper wire and stuff, so I'm going to try to reorganize that off to the side here. And look how much plastic we have. We're backed up on plastic, so... Oh, research done. Power armor. Let's do that. Okay, let's figure out how we want to do this red circuit stuff. Oh, we're getting attacked again. But we... We defended successfully. Okay. It's getting intense. So we need green, green circuits, plastic, and copper wire. Where are all our green circuits? We're actually kind of low on green circuits. Well, there's some backing up here. Yeah, we could probably build more green, green circuits. I could extend this up this way. I think I will. That should solve our green circuit problem for a while. Actually, we're... <laughs> we don't have enough copper wire now. I thought we'd have enough. And I think we could put one more copper wire making station here. How's was that fast enough? Let's try using fast belt here. I think that might solve it. better. 
kind of all running except for these last two. Gets better. Guess we'll leave that for now. I'm getting kind of light on copper. Oh, we're getting attacked by a lot of stuff. Oh, they took out a bunch of our turrets. Oh, that's a lot of them. Well, that, actually, this corner is not the corner that has a bunch of turrets. That's up there. Okay, we can put some more lasers down here. So what's up with our copper? The line's just full. Our furnaces are kind of lopsided. We should actually have have them on both sides. Let's just use fast belts. Oops, that'll solve the problem. Oh, here comes a big attack. Oh, there they go. Our lasers are keeping up though. Good. Okay, so back to our original problem. These red circuits. Oh. 10,000 items delivered by logistics robots. Okay. I'm going to tear all this up, I think, because I don't like the way it is. So we want a crap. We want a belt of copper wire. Stick that on a belt. We might as well use fast belt. Let's not mess around. And we'll merge that with the plastic. I think we can do that. And then we'll run our order. Okay, what do red circuits need again? They need green plastic and copper. Okay. And they need green circuits, which we'll feed in. We could feed in the side as well and then export out the other way. Maybe use a stack inserter here. Actually, I don't think that'll help us. Fast inserter. Buffer chest. Oh, and this is all heading towards blue science. Okay. Let's duplicate this little setup here. Should help with our red circuits. So we can make uh, power armor now. We just need the, a lot of blue circuits. We're out of green circuits again. We really need automated green circuit delivery here. It's ridiculous. Okay. We'll send half of the red circuits this way. It's kind of messy. And we'll hook up this sulfuric acid here. Blue circuits. So you could probably do one more blue circuit, at least one more blue circuit thing here. I think we can do two actually. Okay, that took a while, but our blue circuit volume is up a bit now. 
We're actually out of crude oil. It's slowly trickling in. Okay, let's try on that power armor. We got more slots, I think. Personal Roboport, energy consumption 2 megawatts. You can't use that yet, it's too much. We need that little Mr. Fusion thing, what is that? In tech tree. Oh, this needs the high-tech science. Can't do that yet. Actually, what thing allows us to make those yellow beakers? We can make them. Interesting. Let's try to make one. So I expanded into this top right hand corner for this last chunk of iron ore. 600, 600k there. That's the last one around here. There's a 1.5 million up there. 400k there. So we'll probably have to go after this one or this one after and clear out lots of nasty things on the way. Look at all this here. That's a bunch of nasties. Big spitter. Jeez, they're getting big there. What's up with our power? Do we just not have enough anymore? Why aren't these working? No demand, I guess. Now, can those lasers keep up? There's so many lasers there. Yeah, they're okay. It's only getting worse, though. Put in some more power here. Let's do laser turret damage 4. What does that do? An extra 30%. I think we need to redo our blue science. It's kind of messed up. Super slow. We only got this one working some of the time and this one working only part of the time. We're manually filling these boxes, which is no good. So I just realized I hadn't hooked up this uh, oil line here to the, to the tanks. Because I, I had a bunch of tanks over to the right here for oil, right here, from a single pump. And they were, they were kind of ha most are about half full, but all that was stuck there. So now they're linked. So we now we got more oil coming in, which is really good. And I haven't tried advanced oil refining yet, so I think I'm going to try that. We're using it for cracking heavy oil, but we haven't used it in a refinery yet. So we've got basic oil processing, which gives us that petroleum gas, light oil, heavy oil, or advanced oil processing which gives us more uh, light oil and more petroleum gas. But it takes water and crude oil. Got lots of water, so try to hook that up. We really need to clear out this area in the top right. We got tons of critters. Maybe set up a forward base there, but I need to, I'm researching military three first so we can get our 
combat shotgun and the slowdown capsules and poison capsule before we take the fight to them. Gonna need some more lasers too. There we go, we got water and oil hooked up. Then we gotta snake those products over back into our main storage areas here. Could be a bit messy. There we go, military to be researched. Let's try out, uh, let's get our shotgun made and try to make some of these capsules. Combat shotgun needs wood. Let's request some wood from our little robots. And these capsules, coal, circuits, steel plate, and slow down capsule. Defender capsule. Oh, that's new. Little combat robot. Let's try to make some of those. So we got our heavy oil hooked up into our tank over here. Now let's do light oil next. Where can we plug that in? Right here, I think. It's definitely worth doing everything underground. Keeps things neat and tidy. There we go. I think the light oil is hooked in now. Now just for the petroleum gas, that's the last bit. I think we can tie it in right through here. Just realized we got a bunch of, bunch of logistics robots sitting in our inventory. And construction robots. Oh, a whole lot of them. <laughs> Here we go, I think the gas is flowing. I think between those two refineries we're going to use up all our oil. At least all this oil in storage. Let's see how this Defender capsule works. Oh, it looks like you can only have one at a time. I think by dropping new ones you kill the old one, which is no good. Maximum followers one. Okay, let's look at building a bit of a forward base here. Gonna need lasers, power, What was that? <laughs> I think our defender blew up. Okay, we'll try to go out this way. Okay, they're right there. <laughs> Pretty close. Haven't attacked yet. Get those lasers down. Why are they all saying no power? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we didn't lose one. was close. I guess that power pole wasn't close enough. Uh, what a mess. Okay, let's pick all that up. Let's try that again.
Okay, that laser's gonna get destroyed there. Let's pick it up. I should probably move those lasers up. Let's try a poison capsule. Oh, that works really well. Look at them go. Did a pretty good number on them. Does that work over here too? Let's try this shotgun out. One laser more close. Oh, here comes a big army. <laughs> Get some poison capsules over there. Maybe I'll put a bunker right here. I think that would work nicely. But we need more steel, we need more power lines. We'll, c we'll come back. Oh, we're getting attacked over here. <laughs> They're getting bigger. Oh, we're not researching anything. That's not good. Let's do the shotgun shell damage. Okay, that's all cleaned up. Now what about this one over here? Oh, look at that, all those critters. Let's move everything over. Here they come! <laughs> Time for a bug sizzle. I'm going to try to build a bunker here. How much ore is that? 451k? I'm going to build a little express highway here. Up to our outpost. I'm going to put some robots in here. And wall off this area. Take out some trees. Now we're probably going to want to set up a train between here and the main base since it's so far. And I haven't really tried trains yet, so I'll probably do that next episode. Actually not that far, but I think a train makes more sense in this case. So that's our little outpost done, and next episode we'll hook it up with the train. 
probably seal this in. Oh, router walls. <laughs> Flamethrower turret. I didn't even know we could make these. Wow. <laughs> I think that's going to be it for this episode. It's going to be a long one, I think. Got a lot of stuff done. Um, next time we'll try to make a train from the outpost back into the base. And maybe try to clear out some more of those uh, nasty critters. And also just continue on with research. Make our way through all this. And I might try nuclear power as well. That sounds pretty cool. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. As always, thanks for watching.